What is a zine? A zine is usually a small run, self-published type of magazine. Zines are easy to make and often provide different viewpoints and voices on subjects outside of mainstream culture. Usually zines are made on regular 8.5 by 11 paper and feature collages combined with some type of writing such as poetry, stories, or even interviews on subjects ranging from politics, feminism, music, and to various other subjects. There really is no set format for a zine since it really is a creative expression and an inexpensive way to get the word out about something without having to deal with publishers. For example, in the late 70s and 90s, zines were often used to inform people about different types of underground bands, music, and artists. The first zine, or fanzine, can be sourced back to the 1930s in Chicago. It was a science-based fiction fanzine called Comet. This led to other sci-fi related fanzines. Fanzine was eventually just shortened to zine and broadened its subject matter, venturing outside of sci-fi into other areas. Zines can be created on regular sheets of paper with markers, pens, text cut out of magazines to make collages, glue and tape. Once you have assembled your zine, you can photocopy them and distribute them. A lot of zines are free but not all of them are. Zines can be reproduced easily with a photocopier in either black and white or color. In the late 1970s, zines such as Sniffing Glue from the UK, Punk in New York, and Slash out of LA covered underground punk music scenes featuring interviews with musicians and photographs. In the 1990s, zines became very popular again with the Riot Girl movement. These zines were often an alternative to male-driven culture and encouraged women to start their own bands make their own zines, and art to get their voices heard. These zines featured bands instrumental in the Riot Girl movement. It is estimated that about 40,000 zines were produced in North America alone on subjects devoted to Riot Girl music and politics during this time period. Zines are still being made today, ranging from abstract topics to comics, politics, music, and other miscellaneous topics of interest.